It is almost surreal the fact that I'm almost at video 100. It seems like just yesterday that I started this series and challenge to myself. So one thing I'll say is this. The only reason I started doing this 100 day challenge and certainly I'm so happy that I did because I feel like I've grown so much as an individual. I've gotten to know myself a lot better. My self-awareness has gone through the roof and there's still more heights to climb as far as self-awareness goes. That's a continual growth always. But the only, only reason that I, I started this and the reason that I'm energized to keep going through it is because of one big thing in my life, one thing that I focused on. And that's connecting with people who really inspire me. You know, I don't think we tell people enough who are around us that they really inspire and energize us. And I just wanna thank those people. I'm not gonna say, by, say anybody by name right now just because the list is so long. But I had coffee with Jay today. I had lunch with Adam today. And I've got these other conversations lined up. I had the, uh, a Skype conversation with Matt and Grant last night and uh, had a quick phone call today with Zach. Uh, had a phone call last night with Chris also. So, I mean, just surrounding myself with people that really inspire me, energize me, and, and that bring joy in my life just by being around them and in relationships with them. And I don't want to miss this one because, as I talked about in my video two days ago on Valentine's Day, Sometimes we take relationships for granted. The person that I'm most inspired by is Lauren, and I don't wanna um, overlook that fact that I get the opportunity to speak with her every single day and, and uh, to grow more in our relationship and be, be inspired by the things she's working on and by the fact that she wants me to become the best person I can be. And when, when we can surround ourselves and interject those types of people into our life, and I say interject because I think it's a purposeful, intentional interaction on our part to reach out to those people. You know, maybe once in a while they reach out to us and that's great, but if we know we wanna make that relationship work and to have those inspiring, motivating relationships in our life, we've gotta make sure we're reaching out and being intentional and conscientious of surrounding ourselves with those people. And I think the thing that I've done very well and the reason that, you know, I wouldn't say I'm successful, but the reason that I think I've had a lot of really neat opportunities in my life thus far to do some really impactful, valuable things um, at whatever level you want to look at it as, it's because I've surrounded myself and intentionally found people and reached out and connected with individuals who are just doing some amazing things, who have, have inspiration in themselves, who are, are ambitious and want to achieve great things in their life, not just for themselves, but because they want to give it back to the people of their lives and uh, anyone else who's willing to absorb that value and that energy and that inspiration that they're sharing with other people. So my encouragement, my challenge to myself going forward into you is this. Find people every single day who you can connect with. If it's just a text, if it's uh, an Instagram post or a, a direct message on some type of social media, if it's a phone call, if it's an in-person coffee or lunch or beverage after work, whatever it is, have the conversations and interactions with people who are doing things and acting in ways that inspire you and motivate you to take more action and to grow yourself and to expand the opportunity that you have to give more value to more people. I think if we can continue, continue to do that on a regular basis, uh, we'll see some amazing opportunities pop up in our life that we can leverage to bring joy to us, but also, maybe more importantly, in many cases, to share that value back with as many people as possible. Have fun. Be awesome.